Hey, what's happening YouTube? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this pour over coffee maker right here. This is uh, Joanna Gaines brand. Um, this is part of the Magnolia Farms collection. I think this is a sub collection they call the Hearth and Hand collection. Um, basically, this is a pour over coffee maker. I asked for a pour over coffee maker for Christmas and I actually wound up getting two of them. I got the Hearth and Hand from my girlfriend. And I got the uh, the Bodum from a Secret Santa. Now, initially, I was really liking this one. This is good if you're going to make coffee for two or three people. Uh, but I've quickly grown to love this Joanna Gaines uh, Magnolia Farms Hearth and Hand Pour Over Coffee Maker. Super quick, super easy. Uh, I think it makes a superior cup of coffee to a percolator, percolator machine. Super easy to clean up, very fast and easy to make it with. And you're really going to get the best cup of coffee. So in today's video, I wanted to kind of show this to you guys. Uh, I wanted to give you kind of an overview of it. Um, wanted to give kind of my review of it. And also we'll talk about how to make the perfect cup of pour over coffee. So uh, because, uh, you know, some of these pour over coffee makers come with built in nets. Uh, this one does not. As you'll see there, there's just a little hole in the bottom there. Uh, so you are going to need a filter. Now I'll link to where you can buy these filters. These are kind of like little baby filters. You can also cut a traditional filter, um, but I like using these little ones. They're, they're about the size of a muffin cup. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother moving the camera to show you guys, but I'm basically going to put this under the faucet and wet it. And the reason we're doing that, um, it's not going to taste terrible if you don't do that. It's just going to get some of that paper or cardboard taste out of your coffee. If you want to do a taste test, make uh, make uh, just pour some boiling water through a regular filter and then get a filter wet and pour boiling water through it after. And you'll notice when you just rinse it really quickly first, it gets rid of a lot of that paper taste and the coffee is just going to taste excellent. So um, ideally, you're going to want to grind your own beans, uh, but if you are buying store-bought, that will work fine as well. I just got done with a Pete's Medium Roast Costa Rican that was delicious. Uh, this is a Pete's Medium Roast Brazil. I don't like this quite as much as the previous one. Um, and I'm just going to make a... I already had a cup of coffee if you can't tell by how quickly I'm talking. So we're just going to do one scoop. Normally I'd probably do two, two scoops for myself. Three if I want a really strong cup of coffee. This makes about a cup and a half. If you want to be really efficient with your beans... Um, or if you buy a dark roast, or if somebody in your household uh, doesn't really like a strong coffee, you can actually make a second cup with the same grounds if you're trying to be efficient or just lazy. Uh, but ideally, I like to uh, like to make a fresh cup each time I make this. Now, uh, we're going to get the hot water started boiling. I have a kettle here. If you don't have a kettle, you can just boil water in a, in a pot. If you got a tea kettle, you can do that. I'm a huge fan of electric kettles. Uh, you know, it just comes in handy. I, you know, we drink a lot of coffee and tea around my house. Um, also, we do a lot of like cup of noodles. And, uh, you know, in just a couple minutes, you can have a full pot of boiling water. So while that heats up, uh, I'm going to pause this video. I will talk a little bit briefly about how we're gonna, uh, how we're gonna do this once this is done. So basically we're gonna let the water come to a boil and we're gonna turn off the tea kettle. Now I like to let the water sit for about 30 seconds let the boiling stop and let all the bubbles stop. At that point, we're gonna pour a little bit of water into the filter here. Um, and what that's gonna do, that's gonna start letting some of the oils in the coffee kind of release and start letting some of that aroma come up. We're gonna pour just enough to kind of wet the coffee. And uh, then we're gonna wait for about 15, 30 seconds. And then we're gonna pour the rest of the water through. Uh, but while this heats up, I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, so I'm going to pick the camera up off the tripod so we can give you guys a little bit of a better view. This water is now boiling. Guys, okay, I know we don't have great light, but you guys can probably see that's still bubbling. What I'll normally do is uh, I'll wait 20 or 30 seconds, uh, wait for that boil to kind of stop, wait for it to stop bubbling. Uh, if you pour it on while the water's still boiling, you're basically going to be like cooking your, your coffee. So... We want hot water, we don't want boiling water. There's still a few bubbles in there, but that's kinda kinda started bubbling. Normally I might wait another 20 seconds or so, but this is fine, we're making a video here. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna pour just enough to wet the coffee. I could probably done a little bit more, and as you can see there, we got the, uh, 
the coffee filtering through. And so I'm gonna let this rest. There's still like oils being released. There's still kind of aroma coming off. You're gonna get the best taste and flavor by doing this. And then we're just going to kind of pour in figure eights, try to pour all over. I'll normally go kind of up to the top of the filter so I don't overflow this. This is normally good for about a cup, a cup and a half. Uh, like I said, you know, if you're serving coffee to your spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, a buddy, somebody else, um, you could take this cup out, put another cup under, and get a second cup out of the grounds. Uh, but, you know, I like a nice strong cup of coffee. So I would uh, basically dump this out, get some fresh grounds, and make another cup. But you guys can see how quick this is. I mean, I, I actually think this is kind of quick than a quicker than a, a percolator even. Um... And I actually kind of prefer the taste and the, the process of making it to even that of a French press. And then another thing I really like about this, the cleanup is super easy. So you're obviously not going to want to wash the wood. It's wood. Uh, this glass piece at the top is dishwasher safe. Really completely unnecessary to, uh, to throw it in a dishwasher. Um, once the rest of this water filters through... Uh, and I'm probably going to wind up dripping coffee on the floor just because uh, I probably won't wait for all this to drip through. Okay, we're going to drip some coffee on the floor. Girlfriend's not going to be happy about this, but... Uh, ah, shit, man, that's kind of... kind of hot. Okay, so we're going to come over... Ah! Okay, so I'm working one-handed here. Normally, this is a lot smoother and cleaner than this, but, um, man, that is hot. Let's throw it in the drying rack. I mean, that's literally the cleanup right there, and we got a delicious cup of coffee. So if you guys are wanting to know where to pick this up, they sell these at Target. Um, I believe you can get these filters at Target as well. I'll link to both of these at Target. If for some reason you don't have a Target near you or you're too lazy to go to Target and you want to order off Amazon, there are people reselling these, uh, these pour over coffee makers on Mercari, uh, Amazon, eBay, and other platforms as well. So I'll link to a couple places where you guys can buy them. Uh, but yeah, this makes a deliciously tasty cup of coffee. Um, and whether it's this one or the Bodum or another machine, I would highly recommend getting a pour over coffee maker if you're a coffee lover. Uh, but this one in particular looks great on the countertop as far as like design and style and uh, super easy, super easy cleanup. Uh, so I am a big fan. If you guys have any questions about this one, drop a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button down below and ring the bell to get all our future videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.